Now, we tend to think of career moves in terms of promotions upwards. Sometimes the best way to get there is actually to go sideways first. A lateral career move could actually be one of the smartest career moves that you ever make. <laughs> Before we start, you're going to want to subscribe to my channel and click that bell because I've got a whole series of videos about switching careers that you're going to love. If you stay to the end, I'll give you an example of how one client used a lateral career move to get away from her demon boss, as we used to call him. <laughs> So today I'm going to give you three brilliant career benefits of making a horizontal career move. I'm Dr. Suzanne Doyle Morris, the founder of Inclusic. Now, in addition to straight up promotions, I've coached many women through many successful lateral career moves. Now, one great client made a lateral career move from CTO to then COO, and now, well, she's being lined up for the CEO position, a dream job that, let's be honest, she never thought she would get. Now, I'm actually a huge fan of the lateral career move for a number of reasons, and I think by the end of this video, you should be too. So the first reason to love a lateral career move well, it's a wider understanding of the business. So I was recently working with a fast-moving consumer goods multinational. Now, in our program, high potential middle management women are paired essentially with senior management leaders who, let's be honest, are mostly guys. And those guys are their mentors. Now, these mentors aren't their bosses. Instead, they lead completely different departments. Now, the program was hugely successful, but one of the most interesting things was that by the end of the year, well, the mentees were now considering opportunities in other departments. They were now willing to look much wider than just simply waiting for a promotion that would only come if their boss retired or became vacant some way. That's essentially like waiting for a dead man's shoes, which is wholly unsatisfying and a complete time waste. As part of the mentoring, these women now realized how much bigger the organization was, particularly compared to their own siloed area. That wider understanding of the business gave them a renewed sense that they had far more career options than they thought, potentially just from moving sideways. Second reason to love a sideways career move <laughs> with your wider network of supporters. Now, your work is no doubt great, but it's people who are going to get you your next promotion. And the more people you know, well, the better off you'll be. It is the death knell for any professional. If when their name comes up during promotion discussions, somebody pipes up and says, who's she? I haven't heard of her. <laughs> Let's be clear. That is one of the most important things that I work on with my clients. One coaching client was a project manager for a small civil engineering project. Now that project did well and she certainly wanted to progress, but to get there, she actually sought the same role in the same company, but for a much bigger project. It was higher profile and had bigger budgets, plus much more access to the senior people she wanted to get known by. On paper, she went from being a project manager to, drum roll please, a project manager. <laughs> but it was the size and scope of the project that served her so well. And after a year, of being on that second project, well, she was given a much bigger promotion because she'd proven herself, not just on one, but two projects that looked essentially the same on paper, but as everyone in the company knew, were completely different in scope. And she now had a much wider range of advocates. Because that sideways moves mean that you can have tentacles of influence that go much further. That's a fantastic way to get ahead. So my question to you is, when have you made a sideways move that turned out to be exactly what you needed at the time? If you've done that even once in your career, well then type sideways into the comments box below. And let's finish with the third reason to love a lateral career move. 
Well, it's that they're less competitive and often less contentious way to get away from a team or specifically a boss that doesn't suit you because it is a lot easier to fly under the radar as your boss and peers don't think that you are gunning for the top job. And one client used this as a really smart approach to stay at the same company, but to get away from her demon boss. Now, he relied on her so heavily, he even once told her straight up that he'd probably never give her a good recommendation if she ever tried to leave him. Anyway, she started her sideways career move by volunteering to help on a different team's project, which he couldn't object to. Now, that gave her a new set of stakeholders, including her boss's boss, and she worked so well for that head honcho that he eventually asked her to be moved over permanently to that team. Demon boss not happy, but by then, what could he do about it? Not much. <laughs> so now you know three of the benefits of a sideways switch, and I'd recommend you check out our playlist on influencing others at work. It will give you plenty of techniques that are going to help you win that next lateral career move. And if this video is making sense to you, then give it a like and share it with someone else who's considering what next. Subscribe to get regular advice about switching careers and so much more. And if you're convinced that a lateral career move could be a great option for your career, well, comment below with the sector in which you work. I hope this has helped broaden your horizons when it comes to thinking about your own career options. And good luck. And remember, no one cares about your career as much as you do.